everyone and welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida and here at the Cove, we do budgeting, finances, business, planning, all that great stuff here. So if it sounds like something that you are interested in and would love to see more, do me a favor, hit that subs um, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. Okay, you guys, so happy new year. Let's get into some new year things, some new things that I'm doing in my planner. I decided to stay in my A6. I will be updating you guys with my 2021 planner lineup that'll be coming later in the week. So here she is in all her glory. I've just been taking my time with my planners, getting them set up just the way I want them. I'm not in a rush because I know that I will change my mind. So today, what we're doing and we're working on are we planning? I'm showing you my planning routine for the week. So we are on, this week will be the 18th through the 24th. So this is pretty much what I do kind of lastly. So I'll just set that aside. Um, I started a little bit and I was like, you know what? Let me make a video about this. So um, I go through all my sections. This is my daily. So I plan daily and also I'll do a video of how I plan daily, but I check my budget. Um, section. So what I do is I'll go in yesterday. I had a no spin. So I'll just go in and update that. And I just pretty much go through my planner and see what needs to be updated. I take out any old inserts or anything that may be bulking it up or holding it um, you know, hostage and making it too, too thick. So also I have to update my weekly check-in. Even though I do a monthly um, budget and a money Mondays, um, I will still go in here and fill it out here so that it is portable with me if I decide to take my planner out. But um, this week, I'll probably be doing my money Mondays a little differently. I'm doing something else. So I'll go ahead and fill this out and I'll probably fast forward through this. that I've done that I'll pop that back in and um, I'm making sure I've updated um, any spending I'm trying to really <laughs> stick to my spending tracker um, this spending tracker is in my financial bundle which is in my uh, on my website and it just comes as a bundle I will be eventually having it separate so um, I check that and then I update my habit tracking so this was last week, uh, I did my scripting. So I just go ahead and finalize, today is Sunday. So I'll go ahead and just check off things from yesterday. Um, no plan of spend. I don't think I spent anything. Spending tracker, I did update that. No eating out, I did good on that. <laughs> no sodas, that didn't happen. So what I do is I start a new week and this will be um, January the 18th through the 24th and then I'll just go ahead and fill this in and I'll probably fast forward to that. did was these are the things that I'm habit tracking this week even though I have um, my um, what is it spending tracker or no planner spin in a couple of different places that I track in my planner I have to do things in my mind multiple times to keep me accountable so I have scripting that is like my manifestation scripting I do scriptural writing um, I have a no planner spin my spending tracker I want to make sure that I'm keeping up with that and I have no eating out, and then I have no sodas. So 
these are the habits that I'm tracking this week. Now, sometimes these do change. Um, I hadn't really thought about anything new that I wanted to incorporate. So I just copied from this week here. So um, I haven't done my scripting yet. I'm going to check this off. Um, I did my scripture writing. Um, I don't know how the day is gonna go, but so far I don't have anything I'm spending. And I probably won't eat out, but I know I'll probably have a soda. So I'll leave that be and I'll check back in with that later. So then I'll just pop that back in my planner and just make sure um, what I need to update. And then this is pretty much uh, notes and stuff. So that's pretty much it. So now I'll go to my weekly. Here lately, I've been very, very minimal and functional in my weekly um, spread. So it will not be a whole lot of deco. I'm just really trying to stick to being functional. So what I like to do when I'm being functional is I put down the things that need to be done first. Then if there's room for deco or whatever, I'll add that. Now, if I'm listing, so here are my um, stickers that I'll be using. I keep these in my planner and they're basically functional. Uh, stickers. I do have some new stickers coming. Um, if you're in my Facebook group, you've already saw them. And if you're not in my Facebook group, you may want to join because they get to see all the sneak peeks first. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. Um, I may speed through it, but um, like I'm going to use this because I know I have a car note. My car note is due on the 20th. So I'll just take one of these. And these are from Banana Doodles.
Okay, so we're done. Um, I pretty much sped through the last part because I needed to focus. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure that I had written down everything. And sure enough, I was forgetting some stuff. So um, that is that. So our weekly is done. I'm going to show you what it looks like. That's it. I love the color, the, the aesthetic of it. I'm just more neutral and this just works for me. I can function, I can see um, what needs to be done. I might've went a little crazy with the dew drops, but it's okay. You know, it's really okay. So it's what works for me. So um, I did want to kind of highlight this. I'm gonna, um, the week. This is the 18th through the 24th, okay. Oh, and this is a Tombow 850, the color that I just used. So that's it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this pretty much how I plan for the week and weekly plan kind of wrapped up together. I'll be doing some flips of my planner. Like I said, I think she's complete. I think I've done her cleaned her out. So I'll be happy to do a flip on this. If you'd like to see a flip of my A6, do me a favor raise your hand, put a me in the comment section, and that way I'll know what content to serve you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.